Hey guys, in this video, we are going to try to get these both embellished. This is the the hanging window shadow box thing. <laughs> and this is the uh, little album that we made, little waterfall album. And these were using, I made both of these using the medium keepsake box uh, and mini album printable templates. So I will link everything I can um, in the description box below. So I don't think I'm going to embellish anything on the inside of this album. I think it's just adorable as it is. And you know, you could put stickers and stuff if you want to, but I don't want it to be too heavy because this is going to be hanging on the wall with just, um, you know, seam binding. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this back up. Okay. So I think I'm going to do them both together because since you can see inside the album, I want to make sure that everything kind of looks like it's all going together. You know, I would like to have some flowers and stuff like hanging over the sides and the top. Um, and I want it to all like look like it's going together, if that makes any sense. So I was looking at the paper line and there's really only one piece, or only one sheet that's cut apart. And this is the sheet. Let me grab a one that I haven't cut up on. So it looks like this. This is, the paper line is Blush by Blue Fern Studios, and this is from 2015, so I don't know if it's still available. But I cut these two out. This is Love and Key to My Heart. I cut those two out. I thought I would try to use those on the cover a little bit. Oops. So I've got them out here. So there's the Love and there's the Key to My Heart. And then I picked out a key. I have a clue of where this key came from. It says love on it. I think it might be a Tim Holtz key. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'll see if I can find a package for it. But I have like a whole little drawer full of keys. So whenever I'm feeling like I need a key, I just grab my drawer. But anyways. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to like incorporate this. And I might put this actually on the the door or the lid of the box um, some, somehow. I don't know. We'll see. So I thought I would just start playing. Um, I think one of the things I want to do is I want to ink these pieces up and I'm going to be using the archival ink and coffee. I might even distress them uh, the edges a little bit. And this is a Tim Holtz blending tool. I get asked about my little tray all the time. It's just a piece of hard plastic that came with my son's um, screen, phone protector, whatever. I don't know. So I've got two of them. There was like a, you know, it was like a two piece. <laughs> so I use one for my brown and one for my black. That way I can scoot it around my table really easily. I get asked about it quite a bit, so I thought I would share that again. So I was thinking, since I made my boo-boo on my cover, right there, since I poked through accidentally, I was thinking about maybe trying to use one of these pieces to like cover that up a little bit, like overlap it. So I was thinking about doing something, something like this. I don't know, but I want to kind of bend them and um, put some flowers around it just to see what it's going to look like. If I bend it the other way, I need to make sure I ink both edges. Let me get my distress tool. This is a, a Prima distress tool. And I'm just going to lightly, I think, do the edges so it kind of matches the cover, the whole feel of the whole project. So I don't want this to be too heavy. So I'm not going to really be do using any heavy embellishments except for that key. Um, as the rest of them are just going to be all those pretty flowers that I made, my fancy flowers. Um, I'll link that video below and I'll link these two videos below. Um, and then I've got some plain ones from that same um, oh, and then I also got these sitting here, the ones that I had bought at Recollection, I mean, at Recollection, at Michael's, uh, the Recollection flowers. So I've got these sitting here too. So, anyways, so I wanted to do a little bit of bending on this paper. I totally want to try to cover up that, that piece right there. And... I wanted to do something like this, right? Something like that. And then I want to put some flowers in there. So if I have it in my box, it'll look like that. And then my key, I was wanting to kind of like 
have it hanging over a little bit and just attach it down and have flowers all the way around. So it would look something like that, which I think is cute. And then I want some flowers that are like going this way, going that way. You know, you get it. Okay, so you know what I think I'm just gonna do because um, I'm afraid to commit. A lot of times when I am doing my embellishments, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them down. I'm just gonna do it because if I don't, I will keep second guessing it and second guessing it and, oh, let me do this one first. And that's no fun and I'll never get it embellished. That's what will happen. <laughs> So this is as far as I've planned out um, with the key and these little cutout pieces here. I think and I want that over there like that. And I want this one up under there. I might even scoot that some more. So I think that's where we're gonna put them. And you know, this Fabri-Tac gives you time to work. You know, it won't dry super, super fast, so, um, you know, it'll give you time to wiggle it around. Okay, so in the spirit of going ahead and just gluing things down, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this key down. So when it's hanging on the wall, and it's gonna be sitting on the bottom there, so I need to make sure that everything is where I want it to be. Oh, you know what? I should probably, I should probably do something to this key. Let me find something here. Let me just find another piece of paper. I should probably, do, what should I do to this key? I might just do the gesso. And um, this is just regular old cheapo gesso from, might even be from like, you know, Walmart or something like that, that I put in another container. Let's see, let me start with the back because you'll see the back a little bit. I'm just not sure how far I want to go with this, you know? I don't like the brush strokes. Ooh, I like that though. I like the rubbing it with my fingers. That looks kind of cool. No, what do you think? Just toned it down a bit. I like it. I might end up adding some gesso to all the flowers too at the end. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so that I'm sure that's dry already because that dries pretty quick. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have the key like right there. Um should I have it up down? I want to be able to put flowers around it, but the only place I'm going to glue it is right there because when you open it, you'll be able to see it on the other side. So. Should I have something? Should I have some? Oh, let me see here. Should I put some seam binding in there to look like a keychain? This is just some of the scraps I cut off from making the mini album. Oops, did I put that on backwards? I always do that. Try this again. So I'm just gonna fish it through somehow here. And then I can trim off and trim off the excess. That's cute, I like it. Or maybe I should, maybe I should wait. Maybe I shouldn't trim it off just yet. Cause I might be able to use that to glue things down to or stick things to. We'll see. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the key. And I'm gonna use my fabric tag. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom part here. I'm just going to commit. There. I like it. 
So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. And I might even play with some flowers while it's drying. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll just leave the camera on. So I have all my pretty flowers here. So on the inside, it's only so deep, so I need to be careful. I think I've tested them all, and I think they all will fit um, inside the box as well as out. Um, I just can't, like, make it too thick. I don't, I don't know if that made sense or not. But So I think I'm just going to start playing. I need to cut these stems off, I bet. I don't know if I should leave that on there or not. What do you guys think? Because I wanted to add the flowers. So, not these big ones, but maybe some small ones or something along the way without you seeing that. I bet you'd still see the glue anyways. All right, I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting it. I mean, I can always remove it if I don't like it. The uh, seam binding's not glued down. So we got that so far. Looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna let that dry because I can't even open the lid without it falling off. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's dry enough. Um, I don't think it'll move too bad. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, I think, just placing flowers um, in random spots and then seeing how it goes. So um, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. I like this green one. Maybe I can use that stem to tuck it up under there like that. Yeah, if I add some gesso to some of these pieces, they'll blend in a little bit better. So, let's see, what else? I like this. I like that flower. If I flatten it out a little bit, and go underneath that one. Like so. I don't really want to lose the whole key shape, you know? Um, maybe add a little bitty Purple, maybe scoot this up a little bit. Or, how about if I switch this around? Like that. That's better, I think. So there's some place to start. And you know what? I'm just gonna glue them down. I am, I am. I'm just gonna glue them down. Oh goodness, here we go. Get a good glob there. And then I think I'm just gonna stick this stem underneath this one so it's not glued to the uh, acetate there. Well, I like it. And I'm going to stick this one under there, too. Okay, and then over here, this is getting on my nerves. I don't know why. Oh, let me cut this one off. Thinking maybe there. I'm thinking this one can go right here. And then we'll tuck this one up under there a little bit. All right, so now we need to add some little bits here and there. Let's see. 
And I also want to go down the side here, but I feel like there needs to be a small something. Oh, sorry about my doggy. Okay, sorry about that. My dog wouldn't quit barking, so I had to turn the camera off. But I did add these flowers right here on the side. And if you can see them, I added this little flower here and this little flower there. So it's starting to look like that. It's so cute. So then I was looking up here. I was going to start trying to figure out how I want to do this top part. So it's going to be hard to show you guys the full effect of it, you know, because um, you're looking down on it. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I don't know, that one might be too big. Really, really want to use one of these purple ones. I know I used purple already. Or maybe I'll use this pink one. That's what I'll do. Let me cut the stem off. So again, I'm just going to glue it and then um, we'll just have to work around. You know, we'll just have to uh, move it around if I don't like where it Mark where it landed. Let's see, let's try. It. Oh, you know what? I could probably do it at a slant. So that way you can see it. Yeah, so when you can see it when you're looking at the box this way. That's good. I like that. That's a good idea. I like it. All right, let's see what else do we have here. We've got orange one that one might be too big we might have to put that on the inside what about this one we haven't used any of these yet it's cute i'll use that one did i even get any glue on that there we go have i made contact with the with the box yet so kind of got something going on like that if it's gonna, this doesn't want to stay. There we go. Just leave it alone. It'll stay. That's cute. And so just to keep it stable back there, I'm gonna put something back there. Um, I'm just gonna put a white one just to kind of hold it up. You're not really gonna see it unless you take it off the wall and look at it. So I'm just gonna shove that right there. So now. Maybe that'll make it a little more stable. Okay. So I feel like I need to add something somewhere. Something. That might be too hot. Hot pink. Too big, too. I might leave it. Oh my. I might just leave it. I've used almost all the small ones. I gotta have some small ones for the inside, too. That's too, I don't know. That might be okay right there. Might be too big. What do you think? If you're looking at it from one direction, I'm putting it, I'm doing it. Someone should be able to see it. And then I think I feel like I should put a couple flowers there and there. Oh, how about white and gold? Oh, it's the same type of flower. Oh. I've used all of my little ones. That one's too big. How about this one? That one's cute. Maybe if I use this purple one instead. All right, I'm going to try to tuck this purple one underneath that flower and see how it goes here. Let's see if it's already too far stuck. And it might be. Oops, shoving stuff out. Looks 
cute though. I like it. Okay, how's my key doing? Key's fine, that's fine. What do we think? I swear I feel like there needs to be something. You know what? What about... Um, got this cute little... Should we put that on this seam binding there? What do you think? Maybe not that one. Um, might be the only one we have. I got purple. Kind of blends in though. I feel like this needs another flower. It needs another flower. Or does it need a flower up here? Where does it need one? You guys help me out. Tell me. Yell at me. <laughs> Some of them are just too big, you know? Maybe I'll leave it alone for now and I'll work on the inside. All right, I'm gonna let this dry a minute so then I can open it up so I can flip it back and forth so that I can put some flowers on the inside. I think it's looking adorable. I like it, I like it a lot. So when it's hanging, it'll look like this. Oops, sorry, you're in a, you're not, isn't that cute? Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think, I think it's dry enough. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start playing on the inside. So I'm gonna move these flowers up here and I'm gonna open this up and I think I'm just gonna start playing. Um, I've got a kind of, whoa, hey, how'd that get over there? I've kind of got an idea of what I might want to do. I think I'm gonna stick this in between there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. Again, I'm just gonna start gluing. Um, it seems to be working out okay <laughs> for me right now. <laughs> So I'm going to lift this up a little bit and I'm going to shove that under there like that. That's cute. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here, I think, except I'm going to use this hot pink one. I'm going to try to flatten it out a little bit. Whoa. All right, let's stick this side in. Remember, it can't be too thick right here, so I'm going to have to keep them kind of one level as best I can. So I'm going to stick that under there like that. Oh, this is going to be cute. Just a little bit more sticking out there. And then, let's see, should I do a big flower? Will it close if I've got that big flower in there? It will. So I'm thinking, let's see, let's do some, or should I use this one? Let's do some bigger flowers. Maybe something like that. Let me have that up a little bit. Yeah, let's just glue it down. These don't have anything on them. These are just kind of like plain. Um, these are um, what were they? What were these called? I don't remember. Paper blossoms or I'll have to look and link them below if I can find them. That's so cute. And then this color is in the paper line, so I'm gonna try to put this, maybe if I squish that one, put this one in there, just for some contrast. All right, I need to close my lid and see what it looks like. So you can't really see everything going on down there, but that's okay. But you can see kind of where I'm going here. Okay. Then I feel like something needs to go right here. How about one of these? I could stick that under there. No, you can't really see that yellow flower. I want to scoot it down this way and stick something else there. That's what I'm going to do. I just did it. Okay. Let's see. What else do we got? Purple. Gosh, to use me some more purple. How about this soft pink one? That's pretty. Let's do that soft pink one.
Oops, you can't really see the love, or the L and the love. All right, let's see how that's looking. Can't see that pink either, but that's, again, that's okay. All right. Now, what else do we have? Let me scoot everything where I can see it. Um, that's a bright blue. I wanted to kind of stick something in here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oops. Okay. Let's close it. Let's see what we're looking like. All right, now I just feel like I think that I need to do something here and here. Okay, where did I say? Here and here. Okay, so let's see. Should I put something like that there? That one might work. Well, if I glue it down, it'll work, right? So let me know if you guys like these types of videos where I'm literally just playing it by ear and we're just gluing stuff down. We're just doing it. Let me know if these are enjoyable for you. I like it. I mean, it's really, I'm really feeling good about it. Let's see if I put that blue one there. How will that look? That's cute. And then, do I have any other smaller ones? Oh, I have this little purple one. Maybe put the little purple one right here. On its own. Maybe not on its own. Maybe up here with this. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue it. Oh, I'm gonna cut that off. Sorry about my dog barking again. I don't know. She's like I said, it's spring break this week, and I guess there's people everywhere, and she's not having it. Should that go? I think it should go here. Yeah. So I'm going to stick this one. This might be my last flower. We'll see. That is so cute. Do I have anything small left on <coughs> Okay, once again, she just would not start barking, so I had to turn the camera off. But, um, I don't know where I turned it off, but I did add this little purple one here, and I did add this little green one here. So, what do you think? Do you think it is done? I think it's done. I think it's beautiful. Look at that. I just love it. I think it's adorable. So, this is what the album looks like on its own, which it looks adorable just like that too. Super sweet. I like it. <laughs> and then here's what the box looks like on its own, right? It is so cute. And here's what I have left over. These are the flowers that I didn't use. I wish I had made more small ones. Um, you know, like these little bitty small ones here. Um, I wish I had more of those to fill in, but hey, and the weight is really good. So, I like it. So, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know. Because if you like this kind of video where I'm just kind of, you know, doing it. And just literally in real time. Like, I haven't put, planned much at all for it. Um, let me know. Because it's, it is a lot easier to just sit down and just start gluing stuff down. You know, I'm not sitting, but I'm... You get my point. <laughs> so, um, again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the circle right here and check out all these other videos here. Check out all these other videos here on the screen, and I will see you next time. Bye.